In our previous lesson, we covered how to set up a split test for ads, so how we can rotate different ads and find out which version will create a higher click-through rate, which is what we want. But now let's talk about how can we rotate landing pages so we can find out which one will get a higher conversion rate, whether it's a sales page of some sort that we're sending traffic to, or whether it's an opt-in lead page where we're gonna get opt-ins and get people to subscribe to a list. We'd wanna rotate landing pages in order to see which one will get the higher conversion rate. Well, the way that we would do that, the way I recommend to do that, even though there are multiple ways to rotate landing pages. You can do it on your end with a script. You can do it through Google Analytics. You can do it a bunch of different ways, but let's keep it through ad groups because we're dealing with certain keywords and the intent of the user typing in certain keywords will change from keyword to keyword. That's why if we just do a landing page change and send all our traffic to two different landing pages and then determine which one has the higher conversion rate, isn't scientifically going to necessarily give us the best improvement down to a keyword level. And because we're trying to be smart marketers and do things down to a keyword level, then we'd have to rotate the landing pages and do that test by the keyword level. So if we go into an ad group and we click add, we click run a new text ad. This is the same thing as if we're gonna set up a new ad to do a split test. So we could change the headline here and we'd have two different ads with two different headlines where they would rotate equally because I showed you how to set up those settings for how to have the ads rotate where they would rotate evenly uh, indefinitely forever. So we'd wanna have the same setting, but the only thing we're gonna do differently here is we're gonna set up a new ad, but we want the ad to be identical to another ad that will be active. So if we're running split tests and we have a bunch of different ads running in that ad group, we'd wanna pause all of the ads except for one ad, ideally the one that's getting the highest click-through rate. So we pause any other activity that's going on and we would be left with just one ad, then we would add this new ad, and all that it's gonna be is an exact duplicate of that ad but we'll change the actual final URL to where the track is gonna go. So the display URL will be the same, the headline the same, description the same, but we'll change the final URL to be basically landing page version two. And you'll have to create this on your end, on your server, you know, the other version of the landing page. So when we create the other version of the landing page, we'll put it into the final URL. So it's gonna go right here. And then we'll set up the new ad. So basically we end up with two identical ads for this ad group for that keyword, but the ad, the traffic will be getting rotated equally amongst those two ads, or the, at least the ads will get rotated, but the traffic that comes from it, when it goes from one ad will go to the original landing page. When it goes to this new ad, it'll go to the other landing page that we've just set up that we're gonna test with. So. Then we'll run this for a while and we'll be able to keep an eye on conversions and we'll see down to the keyword level for this actual keyword, which one is creating more conversions. Once we figure that out, then we can of course disable the other one that's not performing as well. And then we can even set up new ads that all have that destination URL to run new split tests to try to improve again the click-through rate or we can duplicate the same ad and change the, the final URL if we want to split test the landing pages. So that's how you do it if you want to run a split test for different landing pages. You just set up a new ad so you only have two running at the same time and they're exact duplicates of each other. The only thing that's different is they have different final URLs because one points to landing version one, one points to landing page version two. And that's it.